Hello everybody, it is Lauren here, one of the coaches at Team Cosmic Bodies, and today is gonna to be a very important video. I'm going over how to do the do-it-yourself pro tan here. And as you guys know, I was doing all of my own tans for all my competitions this year, and it was so easy, and yeah, believe me, I was a little iffy in the beginning about doing it myself, but once I did it, I was like, oh my gosh, I am never going to any other company ever again. Um, so I use ProTan, and you can use my code, um, LDAN20, and it gives you 20% off of ProTan. So what I like about the do-it-yourself ProTan here is I feel it turns out just way better than being sprayed. So when you take the ProTan and you put it onto your skin and you rub it in, I mean, your body just absorbs it instantly. Sometimes when you get you know, sprayed and stuff like that, that the tan kind of just sits on top of you and you have to stand there for a long time and you feel wet and you're standing with a bunch of people like naked and stuff like that. So um, that's why I like doing it myself because I put it on, you dry instantly. Um, well, you gotta wait like 10 minutes before putting on your clothes, but it's just nice because you're in your hotel room or you're in your house or whatever and you're just doing your own tan and it, it's just less stressful too because you know when you're competing, you got all these appointments, whether that's you have to go get a tan or your hair, your makeup, stuff like that. So I found doing my own tan was just less stressful and the tan turns out flawless and you cannot mess it up. Like I promise you, you cannot mess this up. So I'm gonna go over over today how to do it. So um, the first step here is preparing for the tan. So what you could do is you can go, you know, tan go tanning outside, make sure you don't get sunburnt or anything like that. Um, you can even get in a tanning bed too to prepare yourself for the tan. But um, I was talking to Mr. Pro Tan, he actually said not to do it a week before. Um, because you can start holding on to water. So maybe like two weeks before or three weeks before, you know, start, you know, just tanning and, and stuff like that. But what I did for my shows is I used <clears throat> the Sunny Day and I started this, <clears throat> something in my throat. Um, I start this when you are a week out from your show. And this is just gives you a really nice base coat so what I do with the sunny day is I put it on at nighttime before, before I go to bed. So I'll put it on at night and then I'll sleep in it um, because the longer you keep this on, the darker your tan will get. So that's why I just sleep in it for eight hours and then I wake up in the morning and I shower it off. Um, but yeah, say if your show is on Saturday, you would start this on Sunday. So I do this Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, um, and then Wednesday is the last day I do this. Um, and yeah, so that's what I do. It, it just gives you a really nice base coat color. Also, you want to be using this Get Buffed honestly, like two weeks before your show. Um, you can just start scrubbing yourself with the Get Buffed, um, but you have to prepare your skin for the tan. So this is the, the Get Buffed, um, and it just helps ex exfoliate your skin here, and um, it helps with like the pH or whatever, pH levels of your skin, skin balancing, it's an exfoliator. Um, yeah, I, I just use this every day leading into um, when I'm gonna put my first coat of tan on. So honestly, you, you can start this whenever. Like I know some people that start this like a month out of their show. They'll start scrubbing their skin, getting their skin you know ready for this tan. Um, okay, so there is all, though, these two products here. Okay, this is just getting started for the tan. Definitely recommend doing the Get Buffed and the Sunny Day here, preparing for the tan. All right, so then what I do is 
I will then shave my entire body. I will do that um, on what? Thursday morning. Okay, so I will do that. No, is it Thursday morning? Yeah, Thursday morning. I will wake up and I will shave my entire body. So you don't want to shave your entire body and then it's like an hour or 30 minutes and then you put your first coat of tan on because your pores are going to be all opened up and yeah, you just don't want that. That's why I do it on um, th Thursday morning, like right in the morning. Um, or you can even do it Wednesday night if you want. But yeah, I wake up, I shave everything. I shave my arms, don't forget your arms, um, I, you know, legs, back, I shave my glutes, I shave it all, okay? Um, because, yeah, you don't want any hair or anything like that. So, yep, I shave Thursday. And then um, I do my first coat of tan on um, Thursday night is when I'm going to be putting my first coat of Pro Tan on. And here is the, the Pro Tan, the overnight competition color. So you can do this or you can do the super dark. Um, I've been talking to a lot of Pro Tan, a lot of the Pro Tan crew, and what they have been doing is they say they mix the overnight and the super dark together. So they actually mix it together. Um, I think that's what they've been doing to actually spray, you know, competitors now. They actually just mix the two. Um, I personally did not use the super dark this year and I'm kind of pissed that I didn't even try it out because I would go through a whole bottle and now talking to the pro tan crew I just I recommend everybody doing the super dark okay so get the super dark as well mix the two together um, but yeah your first coat is your base coat you're applying your first coat of tan on Thursday night and go heavy on this and what you're going to do is you're going to take some gloves so you need gloves and you need a little um container here and these are the little pads this is dirty um but um yeah these are the pads it comes with it okay it comes with the um overnight coat so because i don't use the spray i never did i never sprayed it I would just pour my Pro Tan into the container here and then I would take, you know, obviously I'm wearing my gloves because you don't want to get this tan all over your hands and then I take my little mitt and I dip it in there, okay? So that's what I do. Um, but your first coat on Thursday, go heavy, don't be afraid, okay? Because I learned my lesson, my first coat, I did not go heavy enough and I, I didn't, my color wasn't as, you know, dark as it should have been up on the stage. So go heavy on your first coat because you're gonna sleep in that and then you're gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna shower that coat off. So this is like your base coat, okay? It's, it's the base. If you're gonna get sprayed by Pro Tan, I definitely recommend you walking in there with a base coat on, at least um, for them, if, if Pro Tan is at your show and stuff. Um, so yep, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna shower it off and make sure it's all off, okay? Make sure you, all, you showered it off completely. So what I do is I, you know, I'm in my shower and I'm just obviously looking at the, the, the ground in my shower and making sure it is all off, okay? So make sure it is all off. And then what I did for my shows is I applied two more coats of overnight. And I would do this, um, what I did was, so it's Friday now, okay? You're one day out from your show and it's Friday. And I would usually apply my first coat of tan around four-ish. So just late afternoon, okay? Just apply it in the late afternoon and then you're going to apply that coat. You're gonna let that dry um, and you're going to wait a few hours here. So I, I would definitely wait around three to four hours to let that dry. And then you're gonna put, for me, and everybody's different, okay? Everybody's different how much tan they need. Everybody has different skin tones. But I'm just saying what I did, I would always do three coats, okay? So I would do the base on Thursday. I would shower that off. And then on Friday, I would do two more coats. So one at four o'clock, and then I would do the other one right before bed, which was around eight or nine. 
these you don't shower off. So you're gonna wake up on Saturday, it is show day. You're gonna wake up and then that's gonna be your coat and your tan here. Um, sometimes people will wake up and they might need another coat, but that's why they're super dark. So definitely get the super dark. Um, okay, and so with the tan, you really need to take care of it, okay? This is like really important to take care of your tan because if you get like any water on you, it, there's a spot, okay? So you really got to take care of yourself. That's why I use um, just long sleeve black. I mean, Pro Tan makes this nice little um, nightgown type of situation where it's really, it's long sleeve, it's really loose and airy. Um, so I definitely recommend getting something like that, but black, long sleeve, silky, because you want to protect your tan here. Also, if you're staying at a hotel room, in a hotel room or in your house, I recommend keeping your room cold because the last thing you want to do is sweat in this tan because, yeah, it's, it's gonna, um, you're gonna start sweating, it, you're gonna get kind of muddy in a way, and you don't wanna sweat off your tan. So, yep, I definitely recommend you keeping your room cold because then you're not gonna sweat off this tan. Um, and yeah, that's, that's definitely how you take care of it here. And all right, so now it is show day, and the last step to do is to put on your bikini bronze. And this is bikini, um, instant bikini bronze. This is the top coat. There's also the competitor's coat. I think it's the same thing, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I just have the bikini bronze top coat. For this, I just, it's, um, this is foamy. So when you spray this one out, it's, it's foamy. So I just put it straight into my pad. You don't have to dip it in the container or anything like that because it's foam. So yep, you just, spray it on here and then you rub it on your body um, and yeah so this one it, it dries kind of weird like you'll you'll put it on and then you'll see a streak and then you you might want to like you're gonna want to keep applying it but it just dries so telling you that it's all gonna be good it's not gonna dry streaky or anything like that it's all gonna dry nice and evenly and this is the icing on the cake when I put this on I'm just like okay I am ready like this is just the icing on the cake it's it, it makes everything look completely flawless and beautiful this is like my favorite step is putting on the top coat um, and yeah and that that's really it that's how you get ready for this tan um, I guess just what I do here when I'm applying you know my competition coat and everything is I always start from my legs I start from my legs and I and I go upwards and and then I do my hands and my feet I'll actually just do that last um, because and then you want to make sure just be careful with your elbows and your knees because those are really dry areas so you know a mistake I made was when I was going heavy I would go really heavy like on my elbows and my knees and then it would turn out really dark so that just just go over it smoothly okay don't put a ton of product on your elbows and your knees that was a mistake that I made um, and then yeah so I just start from the my my legs and I work my way up. I usually stand in front of a mirror and I do this all myself. Um, some people are like, how do you get your back? I can get my back, I really can. If you do have somebody there though, like definitely have them help you out. But at the end of the day, I do bikini, so my hair is on my back, so it doesn't really matter. The judges aren't, I'm not moving my hair. Um, but yeah, I mean, if obviously if you can't reach back there, then have somebody help you out. But it's really not an issue. Like I can, you know, you can definitely get back there. It's, it's pretty easy and they do make a, a product where it's on a stick, I'm pretty sure. I think it's on the Protan website. Um, and honestly, guys, you cannot mess this up. You just need to smoothly put it on. Don't pat, you know, don't be patting it on. No, you just nice, long, nice strokes. Um, even like going with the muscle bellies and, and everything like that, that's how, how I, um, or your muscle striations and stuff. That's how I like to apply it on. But like I said, you really, you really can't mess this up. It turns out flawless. I just love the way it looks. 
on, on my body and up on the stage. Some, like I said, when you get sprayed by companies, sometimes you just feel sticky and you're just like, oh my gosh, I just feel really sticky and you're like standing there and you're like in your clothes and you're just, yeah, and like you're like in bed at night and you're just like, oh my gosh, this tan is nasty. Pro tan, do it yourself, not at all. Like I said, you put it on, you dry instantly um, and it's awesome. It's an awesome product and it's, it's stress-free too. You just do it yourself. You're just in your hotel room. You worry about your own tan and it's really awesome. Okay, so. Oh yeah, last thing. Obviously you're saving money in the end because it's cheaper. That's for sure, Kyle. Um, yeah, tans can get up to like $150 plus if you need more coats, right? Like if you're doing a national show and you have, it's a two-day show, um, yeah, it, it can, if it is a two-day show and you're doing it yourself, just shower. Just shower it off that night and then apply a new coat of tan on and then and, and a bronzer on on Saturday or whatever. Um, if, that, if you're doing a two-day show. But yeah, it's cheaper in the end. So for me, I usually go through a whole bottle. So if people are wondering like how many products you go through, I, I'll go through a whole bottle of the competition um, coat. And then, but that was just me because I never used the Super Dark, which I recommend the Super Dark. And the Super Dark is a smaller bottle. So yeah, if, if, I, if you're my client or if you're watching this, I would just, main products is get buffed here, you wanna start exfoliating, then you wanna prepare yourself for the tan, get your skin all nice and ready, so use a sunny day, and then definitely get a, um, a bottle of the overnight competition color, and then also I would get the small super dark one, and also the instant bikini bronze, and you know, that's really, that's really all you need here. So, all right, I think I hit everything, and what, Kyle? Taking it off. Oh, yeah, taking it off. Um, so to take it off, what you can... Okay, so taking it off. How long is this now? Well, this is a 17-minute video. Whatever. Okay, so taking their tan off, what I recommend is you are done with your show. It is over. You want to go out and eat or whatever? No. Go back to your hotel room. Go get in that shower, use your exfoliating gloves, bring them with you, and start rubbing the tan off immediately. You will see it all go away in the shower. That is just so important, just to start scrubbing right away and get this tan off. Um, and then the following day, you can use the, um, what's it called? It's by Pro Tan. It's a, it's, um, it's the instant tan remover. They have a, it's, maybe it's just called tan remover. It is white. I don't have it with me right now because I've already used it. Um, but it's just like a foamy product and you're just going to apply that all over your body and you're going to let it dry for five minutes and then you're going to take a wet cloth. And when you're in the shower and you just, you go like this and you just wipe it off. You just wipe it all off. And what I, I do three days of it. Like I'll do, I'll do it before my shower. Um, and it works. It definitely works. It helps get that tan off. Um, say if you're doing a, um, a, you're going back into peak week again and you got to do this whole situation over again. You got to get this tan off immediately. I definitely recommend getting that, that um, tan remover from Pro Tan because that helps. Plus, getting into a bath and just scrubbing it off. It's just getting into a warm bath um, and just scrubbing, scrub, 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 even using the get buffed in there again and just scrubbing this tan off. It will come off, it will, um, because you saw me doing all those back-to-back -back shows this year, right? Um, and good, so guys, you save money in the end doing your own tan, less stressful, and you can use my code LDAN20, and that's going to give you 20% off of Pro Tan on the do it yourself um, kit. And if you want to be sprayed by Pro Tan too, if they're at your competition, definitely get sprayed by them. Um, and you can use my code, and it will work for there as well. So, okay, guys, bye.